Welcome back, everybody. I'm going to continue working over here on the little shops. And next up, I, uh, I've gathered some fish and stuff, so I want to put a little fishing shop here. I figure this would be appropriate since we're right next to the wharf and stuff. People are going to come down here and get fresh fish. So this shouldn't take very long. And I've already kind of mapped it out. It's going to be a small little thing, that's, which means the road is going to have to move. So I'm, I'm picturing maybe the road will go this way. I don't think there's enough room to put another shop here. So I, this may just be more of a road with plants and stuff on either side. You just take, take advantage of the space because open space is always good. I mean, you can cram a lot of stuff into a small area, but if you've got all the room, might as well uh, take advantage of it and leave a little elbow room. You know, like over here, this kind of little elbow room here with the just fields and stuff, not really any buildings. Well, these were these kind of got tightened up and put in a little close, but there was really no uh, no avoiding that because I had the bridge, I had the tower, and then. The only open space I had was this, and I wanted it near the, you know, I wanted this building near the fields. Oops, oh, I, must, I must have been a tall grass. But over here, I can take advantage. I, I can still put another shop, I think a butcher shop over here. And then uh, this would be the fish market. And let's get started. I've got some ice. I figure all the fish is going to be on ice. And I need to dig this up and put a floor in. So I thought the best thing would be to put the blocks on it that are not going to need flooring under them. Because it's kind of a waste, you know, to put a bunch of flooring down and then cover it up with ice blocks and stuff. And it's going to be, an, you know, really an open market. So let's uh, get these. I've got some bricks, some granite, and some polished granite. And that's going to be the, the floor of the fish market. Oh, I forgot. The saw down here. So let's just dig this out. I figured we would do something. Get rid of that. You know, something like in the, this similar to this just sort of a mixture kind of you know break it up use the bricks i think the bricks and the granite and the polished granite you know mix like this look pretty good it's not one big solid uh, block okay let me go this over here yeah i've been using uh which actually works pretty well i use these yeah, you know, path blocks as markers for the buildings and stuff. I think I used to do uh, like torches and stuff, and I still do that. But if there's grass on the ground, it, it actually works out better just to use the, the path blocks because you just you know, all you need is a shovel, and then they go away when you start clearing things out. Okay, that one, let's grab. I thought. I must have already picked them up. I thought I had some dirt blocks over there, but maybe, maybe I didn't. Let's do this. There we go. Coming out of here. And. Nope. It is a little harder to do this when it's, you know, ooh, ooh. holy cow. <laughs> oh boy, that was a sl that slid. I was just saying, it's a little harder to do this when you've got to place the blocks over nothing. If they, bricks, dirt, granite, polish guard, there we go. I hope I have enough. I don't know if I got enough 
blocks. I'm out of granite already. So I'm going to rely heavily on the polished. Let's do this. There we go. I just have to work my way in from the corners. Why is this the same? Oh yeah, I was, it's kind of harder to do this when you've got to worry about, you know, these floating blocks because you can't really just uh, place them down on the ground. Okay, yeah, there we go. That will work. I don't know how this is going to look. So I've got, I think this is end stone. And we're going to just have like a covered area here. I think maybe I will do like that. Yeah, I can block that off. I can't really block this off. Yeah, I almost needed one more block. I almost need to move it over one. One block. Um, yeah, I don't have any more bricks and I don't have any more granite, but I think I do. Yeah, I think I do need to move it over one more block because I want to put, oops, put a wall here. I want to make it symmetrical, which means I need to get rid of that. Did I break? Hmm. Oh, it's like. Ah, no worries. I mean, I've got a whole uh, whole ice field over there. If I need more blue ice, I'll get more blue ice. So this would move over one. Yeah, so. Like that. So I just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten. Just need ten more blocks. Well, I can get a three here. Like that. Okay, let me go get those blocks, and then we can get started on the rest. So it's getting nighttime too, so might as well get some sleep on my other. There we go. So I can do this, put a little wall there, and there. And then it, this is kind of be like a, I guess a canopy. So it's not going to be like a real building. I'm just going to put like a overhang or just a roof on top of it. I thought I could try using these lightning rods. Just to give it a different look. I think I'm going to need a few more. Initially I was going to just do them in the corners, but I think I want to add them in the middle there so I'll need like six more and I think I have them over here uh, that's not enough is it I got one more okay so I'll come I'll have to come back and get those I do have uh, I have plenty of these up near the uh, the cathedral up there, I just haven't brought them down here. So let's see. I don't know if I have enough uh, enough of these blocks. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put a tile roof over everything. And I just grabbed, you know, what uh, slabs I had in the dark variety. Okay. 
let's see here. And actually, I want to change this up just a little bit. So these on the edge, I'm going to put these down one level. We'll do that. We'll do the same thing here. And then we'll have two levels at this height. And then two levels at this height. And then one level at that height. This one. And we'll need to do the same thing here. So like one there? No. There. And then here. Yeah, so it's going to arc like that. These silly, silly scaffolding go everywhere. So I think, yeah, that will be fine there. So like this one go across here. Definitely going to have to get more bricks. And then let's see, get rid of this. Yeah, so a little like peak over the top there. So let me go get some more of these and put this roof on. And then we can uh, just lay out the um, interior. Oh yeah, and I need to get some more lightning rods. So I probably need to go over here to the cathedral. So I will be back in just a moment. Okay, got the roof on there. Doesn't look too bad at all. And I got some more lightning rods. Oops, that's not where that goes. And I think I need to redo these because it should be something like that. So this one needs to be upside down. There. There, um, th no, oops, that doesn't do it. There, yeah. So this one, and one more. Oops. There. Yeah, that looks much better. Let's see. I got a, I'm going to put like a barrel here. A cutter. Oh. And. I have an oak. That's not it. Oh, there we go. Looking for the bookcase and slabs because I want one lectern. Because you got to have a little place to pay for your stuff. So I thought that would be good right about here. So it's just a small little stand here to pay.
pay for stuff. And I know I have uh, no, no, I thought I thought I had some spruce. Uh, yeah, I thought I had some of these spruce uh, trap doors, but I was all out. There. And I'll do this too. Now there. So we have a little checkout, check stand area. And since I can, I'm going to use the copper. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get the bee wax and wax it just just because I don't have the bees. Well, maybe I do have the bees wax. I'll have, to, I'll have to take a look because I think I had someone who's building those ships, the fishing ship. So maybe I oh, maybe I have the bees wax. Looks like I've got one, two, three on this side. And only one, two, yeah, one, two, three. Let's see. Um, I was looking for some granite. Give me one, give me one minute. Okay, I got my granite and my bricks, so I've expanded this out, so we have this just a little place here for the customer to stand when they're paying for things. And then we'll put like fish on ice through here. Got plenty of these, so we're good. And then some rare puffer fish if you're brave enough to try eating those and not get poisoned. Do that. So you have the fish mark with all the fish. Oh, I did get some uh, honeycomb. So that'll preserve these. I don't think the lightning rods uh, change color. We'll find out. And do, 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 before they go green. I wish there was an easy way to tell, because that one, I mean, I think F3, I can look at it, and does it say waxed? Copper, to, 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 to powered, open, waterlogged. I'm looking over there on the right side. Oh, it does say waxed copper trap door, and this is non-waxed copper trap door. Yeah, so there is a, the name tag is different, but I don't see a different, nothing visually to tell me that it's wax, which is kind of not irritating, but hard, makes it hard to uh, quickly determine which ones I've done and which ones I haven't. So I need to go get, what, uh, let's see, five, three, five, seven. Seven more of those uh, honeycombs, and then I can finish that. Okay, so I've got these extra fish. So what I can do is I can put like a decorated pot down and pop all these into it. So like, oh, those, it only holds one item at a time. But I can actually put like all the puffer fish in that pot. You don't get them out, do you, can you get them out? You can only get them out by breaking it, which is fine. We'll do that because it's less clicks. We'll put another one here. We'll put the salmon in there because it's less clicks. And then we'll just put the rest of these inside here. And then I want to put some lights like here, here. And I don't think, yeah, nothing in here spawnable. 
And there's no, like... I keep saying like a lot. Holy moly, am I like a valley girl? Like? Totally, totally tubular. So, anyhow. Uh, yeah, there's no... Uh, no torches in here, so we are good. Visually, at least. But I, I did want these... Lanterns there just for a visual look not they don't I don't need them for lighting but a visual look would be good So I think that takes care of the fish market I'm gonna need to figure out where the road goes. I think it's just gonna cut straight by the market and then loop around here And then I guess the boat shop actually the boat shop's gone Because I incorporated it into the harbor master and what is this? This is a clothing shop. Well, I'll have to move that someplace else. And the potion shop is going to have to move because I think this is all going to be butcher shop over there. And the potion shop wouldn't go here, but maybe it's going to go like over, uh, over here. Potions. Okay. And maybe uh, clothes here. Because you always need clothing. But I think that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.